to welcome in now the director of the city's Office of Oversight and Public Accountability, Brandon Davis. He joins us live on the phone. Good morning, Brandon, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Now, you serve as the liaison between the community and the city and, among other things, oversee complaints against the police department. So first, I'd like to get your reaction to what you saw over the weekend and last night and the police department's handling of the situation because there are some that believe they let protesters get away with too much on Saturday. How do you feel about that? I think this has been a, a tough weekend in Grand Rapids. Uh, and, and before we can... Uh, talk about what occurred. We have to acknowledge the hurt and the outrage that's very real related to uh, seeing black men killed at the hands of police. And that wasn't at the hands of Grand Rapids Police Department, but there is trauma associated with that that people are really feeling. Um, and, and I recognize that Saturday was unexpected. Uh, it, although the department prepared, uh, I don't think anyone expected it to be what actually occurred in this way. Uh, and I think that our department utilized the resources in the best way possible uh, that they had at the time to try to keep everyone safe. Brandon, as you know, that 48 hour curfew that the mayor put in place has now ended and it is as of 5 a.m. this morning. But as we saw last night, tensions remain high. Have you been involved in any conversations to perhaps extend that curfew? Could we see an announcement like that today? Well, I, I, I don't want to uh, step outside of my role, right? Um, have, have there been conversations? There's a lot of conversations going on. I think that we have to assess everything that's going on in community and continue uh, to make the best decisions possible in order to keep the community safe. And I know that the city manager and the police chief, and as well as our other officials, are going to do everything in their power to make sure that happens. Now there is another planned rally set for tomorrow, and it's a rally Chief Payne says he plans to participate in. How do we move forward from here and have a real impactful discussion on relations between the community and police? I think that's such an important question. The truth is, is that we start by listening. Uh, this outrage is voice being raised, and although uh, I I don't think our downtown should be destroyed, and I want everyone to be safe, and I recognize that uh, destruction is not the answer. I think we have to listen to the why behind uh, that destruction and make sure that as we start having conversations, we have that conversation with the real why, with the eye for change, recognizing that we can't always do things the same way. Real change is necessary, and it has to happen. Real change is necessary. Well, finally, we also saw some of the best of Grand Rapids, especially Sunday morning as the city came together to clean up the damage. What was your reaction to seeing that? I think that was amazing. It's amazing to see Grand Rapidians do what Grand Rapidians do, uh, showing up and extending a helping hand, uh, being the loving city that we know Grand Rapids to be. Uh, and no way does uh, cleaning up or showing up say that we don't want to recognize that voice and recognize the outrage of, uh, of the death of a black man at the hands of police. But it shows that uh, although we have issues that we need to deal with as a country, um, there is still a place for love and help in this community. Absolutely, Brandon. Thank you for being so generous with your time this morning. We appreciate it so much. Your insights were so helpful this morning. Thank you.